my papa said, life is like eating at a restaurant. You read through the menu and they all seem tasteful. You made the order and when it arrived to your table, you rather pick the one over the next table. <laughs> Cocktail chair, fellow Toastmaster, Teresa, and guests. Life is full of choices, but many a times they are beeping you like noises. But every day I have that dilemma. In the morning, wake up, or sleep for a moment. At night, sleep, or write another letter. And just like all of us, wait or early retirement. My papa, <coughs> he's a diehard engineer already on early retirement. I still remember when I was a kid. I used to ask, Papa, Papa, why don't you like other uncles? They are doctors, lawyers, bankers, drive private cars, and have domestic helpers. My Papa would kneel down to me and say, Son, you only live once. For life is like eating at a restaurant. Don't look at other people, but make yours beautiful. In primary school, instead of writing letters, I like football. At the team selections, I tried for striker, but the coach said, Sean, you're too slow. Defense, you're too weak. What about you too? Uh, nah. With the passion and determination that you can see it inside of me. Finally, I got into the goalkeeper. <laughs> Backup goalkeeper. <laughs> well, for the years follow, I wait, I wait, I wait. And of course, now tell you a secret. In fact, Charlie wrote him four letters, but one of them accidentally got into me, so I didn't give up. <laughs> <laughs> and I still remember that when I was so desperate that begin to have that journey of back up goalkeeper, my father came to me, <coughs> and he saw these tears about to descend from my eyes, and said, Son, you only live once, for life is like eating at a restaurant. Don't look at others' table, but make yours beautiful. Until one day, finally, Billy got through, and it's my turn to take over. It's finally my turn. But you know what? Lucky that Jackie was not here. That was the boring match ever that season. Nobody scored any goal. So do you think that I will be depressed? Right? No, because I was the goalkeeper. And in fact, that was the only game that season that the winning team didn't win. From that day onwards, I moved from the bench to the beach. And until today, I am still defending Hong Kong to make it a safer place to reach. <laughs> well, a few years ago, my papa decided to start his early retirement. Sean, you know, your mom likes to travel around the world, her English was no good, and I was too busy. I know, I know, I know. Your colleague won't survive without you, Papa. Otherwise, the toilet will suck. Uh, I mean, the toilet will suck. <laughs> Air conditioner will suck. And their lights will suck. <coughs> we'll carry on. What's the problem? <coughs> At his farewell party, my papa told a story that we never heard before. Well, when I was young, I got this chance for scholarship. But you know, life was tough. And I decided I made a choice to work. And a few years later, as some of you might know, that I was offered a scholarship for studying in the UK. But then, my wife got a baby. And I made a choice to stay. Then he went on showing him, showing us, showing all of us, pounds of appreciation letters. I'm sure that he did more one for himself. And tons of photos of myself and my brother. From the day my brother was born, to the day that he passed his PhD, and I got my police pass. Looking back, these were all the choices that I was proud of. For life, it's like eating at a restaurant. Only the choices you made that matter. Don't look at others' table, but make yours beautiful.
but life is not always as predictable. Few days after the party, my papa got a heart attack. And he went on his real early time. We had a humble funeral hall, but to my surprise, hundreds of people flooding in. And dozens came to me and said, Sean, you know, your papa is a very important person to me. His speech about life is like a restaurant, still resonates inside of me. My papa's work did not only resonate inside me, it became part of me. But last week, my daughter came back home with a tiny piece of paper in her hand. I recall that that was the result of the debating selections. I could see that tears was about to descend from her eyes. And then suddenly I realized she must have something difficult to talk to her Toastmaster father. <laughs> I knew that before her. Kid, you know what? You only live once. For life is like eating at a restaurant. Don't look at others and make yours beautiful. Fellow Toastmaster and guests, what have you chosen in your restaurant? What is your dream and what you can't wait? Life is like eating at a restaurant. Don't look at others' table, but make yours beautiful. 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 Contact Ken. <laughs>